All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video. And I'm about to take a look at the 2018 nominees for the Game Awards 2018. And uh, I'm wearing my uh, Final Fantasy VII shirt in honor of the trailer that they will show during the Game Awards 2018. Come on, do it. Um, so... <laughs> I'm excited. I actually really love the Game Awards. I think the Game Awards is great. Now, they might not show all Game Awards. They only show maybe a few and then a bunch of world premieres. But it is all about gaming. It's a celebration, and I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, the last few years have been really good. Uh, that VGX, we will forget about. That was horrendous, but it was hilariously horrendous. Uh, I actually kind of miss the the shit shows like last year we had a little bit of that with, with the Yosef Ferris in incident that was amazing oh that brought me back to like like the VGX where you had those guys outside for the GTA concert and they just kept cracking dumb jokes it was like really awkward it was funny awkward uh it just brought me back to like the good old days of bad game awards so or where Spike's video game awards and stuff like that um, but I am excited for this. So they made a video this year. I think they might have made a video last year too, but I just looked at it on their site, which I think we'll still do maybe just to get a full recap of uh, the Game Awards nominees because uh, there's 30 cat categories. But anyway, here's the video. Here's the video. Uh, make sure everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. Looks nice. All right, so let's check this out, okay? Um, how long until you think we'll see Kojima in this video, though? That's a question, because uh, I've rewatched uh, a lot of, like, reactions to the Game Awards for the last couple of uh, years, and I've, I've rewatched those recently, and holy shit, Jeff Keighley loves, he loves that Kojima boy. He really does. It's like, it's, whew. But anyway, let's go. It's the first thing in the video! <laughs> December 6th, worlds will change, and we celebrate video games. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley, the creator and host of the Game Awards. Hey, what's the first thing to our video? nomination announcement for okay. our fifth annual show. I think it started with Game, live game of the Year. The world on Thursday, December 6th. Oh, Here's day before day, Smash. Game, e and That's right, I forgot. And on December 6th, we are going to celebrate the year's best in grand style. Okay, let's of go. Of course, we'll also give you a sneak preview of where games are going in the future. By the way, I might... Surprise new game announcements and... World new game. game announcements. Trust me, it's going to be an incredible lineup. Much more on that front soon. And make sure... All right, just, I just want to tell everybody right now, I will be pausing it here and there for cer certain categories when he announces, like, certain ones. Uh, not everyone, but like best racing game or sports game. I'm probably not like esports team and shit like that. I probably won't. But uh, there's gonna be ones where I do pause and talk about them. So anyway, back to it. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Game Awards for constant updates leading up to the show. Okay, right you're about now, a minute in. Let's go. Focus on announcing the nominees in all the major categories. Ma like uh, last year, you can help select all the, the major categories. Your favorites at the Game Awards. We'll go to the Game Awards. Com, com. Make sure. DM, Facebook Messenger, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and even on the Game Awards Discord server. So let's get Ooh. to it. Here I know there's a Discord. The all right, here we go. The best game direction. Okay. The nominees are. A Way Out from Haze Light Studios. Yeah. Detroit Become Human from okay. Quantic Dream. Okay. God of War from Sony Santa Monica. Marvel's Red Spider Dead. Man Put that fat Red Dead. Games. And Red Dead Redemption 2. That's the winner. Rockstar that's got to be the winner. <laughs> For best art direction, the five dollars. I get, you know, that, that's a great. You know, maybe. All right. This is what I'll do. I'll talk about it after the video. I'll go to the website and I'll look at the list and we'll talk about them then. Best Adonis Art Direction, Art. okay. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, okay. God of War, all right. Octopath. Oh, Traveler. that gotta win. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, 2. sorry, Red Dead. And Return of the Obra Dinn. For best score and music. Yeah, presented that's gotta win, right? Uh, Octopath Traveler has to win that. That's like the Octopath Traveler award. Like when Ori and the Blind Forest was nominated. Sorry, I hit my mic thing. Um, when Ori and the Blind Forest was nominated and Cuphead were nominated those years, that was like the. That was their year. I mean, easily. If anything was to be won by those two games, it was best art direction. Um, so. By Spotify. The best score and music. Okay. Celeste. Ooh, Scored yeah. The, the music was so good in God Celeste. God of War. Scored yeah. by Bear McCreary. Bear McCreary. Yeah. Marvel's Spider-Man. Scored by John Pazano. Yeah. Nino right. Cooney 2. I didn't play it. Scored by Joe Hisaishi. Oh, Hisaishi. Octopath Traveler. Oh, okay. Scored by Yasunori Nishiki. Oh, my God. Okay, I... I 
I really love the music in Celeste. I'm glad Celeste is getting some love because I need to go back to that game. I played like seven hours of that shit. So good. The music is so great. And too. Red Dead oh, oh, there was another one. Score by Woody Jackson. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption Two is great. In the category too. of best performance. Okay. This year's nominees. Come on, are come on. Brian Decker as Connor. Detroit become human. Yo, give it, give my boy what is his name? Roger Clark. Who? Uh, is it Roger Clark? That voice is um, Arthur. Let's go. Christopher Judge is crazy. Yeah, he's great. War. Milosanti Mahout. That's Cassandra. Wow. Assassin's Creed All right. Odyssey. Cool. Roger Clark as Arthur Moore. My boy! Let's go! Two. He's going. Win. He better. And Yuri Lowenthal. Ooh, he did a really good job, too. Nah, nah, I gotta be Roger Clark. Best independent I've been game. doing a the nominees are Arthur Celeste impression for the last... Game. Ooh, I want that to win! Ooh, I want that to win! Into the breach I like that game. game. Return of the I don't know what that game is. And the I didn't play that yet. Studio. So there's only two I played there. Actually, three. I played. I played into the breach. I I want Celeste to win. Celeste is so good. I'm glad Celeste is getting a lot of support. CS:GO, Dota 2, Overwatch, Fortnite, No, League of Legends, Yes, and Overwatch. Yeah. Best narrative is a category that celebrates the best stories in games. Okay. And this year, the nominees are. Better not be Spider-Man. I'm just gonna say right here. Better not be Spider-Man in here. Detroit. I haven't played it yet. So. God of War. Life is Strange 2, Episode 1. Episode... I don't know about that one. <laughs> Just Episode 1? Alright, whatever. Marvel's Spider-Man. No. And Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption this is going to sound like a broken Games record. <laughs> and Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think Spider-Man deserves being nominated. I thought the, narr the narrative was fine and it had great moments... It's not a great narrative though. It's it's pretty generic for Spider Man. I sorry, that's just my opinion. I think it's a great game though, but uh, I think it definitely loses steam later on, and it has so many twists that are so so obvious. Even if you don't know Spider Man, you know exactly where this character is going in the story, or you know this character is gonna be a villain. Oh, this character, this you know, I just I don't want to spoil it, just in case. But um, I don't know. It was it was by the end of it, I was like, that was a great ending. That was really great. Besides that, the rest of the story was kind of... Mm. And I think there was better game. Like, I would even say Celeste had a better story. <laughs> what I played. No, I, would, I wouldn't say it should be nominated over Spider-Man, but whatever. The nominees this year are... Games for Impact, okay. 11, 11, oh, yeah, this told. just came out. Celeste. Florence. Life is I forgot, yeah, Celeste two, is... Episode from... one. Is technically because and it's about a the missing, oh AJ the missing Maxfield gun and the island of memories. Oh, that's awesome! In the category of best, that's awesome. Missing got nominated for that, eh? I guess yeah. Games for Changer things that are like really focusing on like certain things. Like the missing is about a, a gay relationship, I believe. Life is Strange Two is about um. Actually, I haven't played it, so I don't really know. Um. Celeste is about oh. I know it's about, but I shouldn't say it because I think it's it's kind of a reveal. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. But I hope Celeste wins. I, hope, I you know I kind of hope Celeste sweeps a lot of these awards. Uh, might not be my favorite game of the year. It's definitely up there though. I need to go back to it though. Presented by Dolby. Ah, it's the so good. For 2018 are it just feels Call good. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Okay. Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. God of War. Spider Man. Marvel's Spider Man. And Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. Best debut indie game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go off on the bat and say Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War. At this point, Celeste might be Game of the Year nominee, but no. How many of these do they usually have? They usually have five or six, right? Um So there's definitely three lock-ins. Would they put Detroit? I don't think so. I mean they nominated it a couple times, but I don't know, we'll see. And recognizes a small studio's first project. This year, the nominees are... Oh, that's are cool. Oh, they, oh, they've always had that, actually. Esposito. Yeah, I heard that good. Florence that good. By Mountains. I heard that good, too. Moss from I heard that Games. great. The Messenger from I, I heard Studios. that's great. And Yoku's Island Oh, yeah, Express this is on Switch. It's like a little pinball game, kind of. Best mobile game. The nominees don't have much to say about that one. I didn't Donut play them. Okay. Florence, oh, my God. Fortnite, oh. No! Fortnite, no! Fortnite. What are you doing? Fortnite? Fuck off. What? What? PUBG? Fucking PUBG? Best MOBA? I don't give a f- What? What? Game of 
Best VR I don't have VR anything to say about that one. Oh, on Donut Country Island. ones. <laughs> or Donut County. Astrobot Rescue Mission. Whoa. Beat Saber. Why do you, why do you laugh there? Listen to him. Astrobot Rescue Mission. <laughs> you heard him? Astro... Like, oh, that shit ain't gonna win. <laughs> Beat Saber. I heard it's Firewall great, too. Zero I heard that's great. Moss and Tetris Effect. Are these all PlayStation VR exclusives? Astrobot Astro is is definitely. I think Beat Saber Firewall is. Firewall I think is too. Moss. I think I'm pretty sure Moss is. Tetris I think Tetris Effect might be on, like Vive or something. It, it, it's, a couple of those might also be on Vive or something else like uh, Oculus or whatever. This year, your choices for best action game are Call of Duty Black Ops. It might 4, be. Dead Cells, Destiny 2: Forsaken, Dead. Far Cry 5. And Mega Man 11. Oh, Mega That's Man 11. Wait, hold on. We got to go back. That's a big category. That's actually... Of all of the years... All right, hold on. Game are... Of all... All right, we'll say this. Of all of the years I've seen Best Action Game, this might be the most diverse. All right? Call of Duty Black. You got a multiplayer-only shooter. Black Ops 4. You got a roguelite. Or a roguelike. Which one is it? Dead Cell. Whatever. Destiny... Destiny 2, which is an expansion, Forsaken. Destiny 2, Forsaken. Far, Far Cry 5, which is another shooter, but that one has a story and Cry shit. Cry 5. And, and Mega Man 11. Usually action games are pretty generic, you know, just just straight up what you expect. I was not expecting Mega Man 11. <laughs> That's awesome. So Mega Man 11 got nominated. That's cool. I'm sure Mega Man fans are happy about that, at least. Mega Man 11. I'm liking, I'm, I'm liking these nominees. The mobile game pissed me off. But to be fair, I don't really know many mobile games. So I, I just don't think like a port of a game that definitely runs better on consoles should be, or and even PC, um, should be nominated. I don't know. That's like nominating Injustice to the iPhone game. Like It's just a watered-down version of something that's way better. I don't know. It's just... I guess people like Venture it. Adventure games. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. God of War. Marvel's Spider-Man. Red Dead Now, Red this is what I expect. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, that, see, now that is a generic list. Now, I don't really get the difference between action and action-adventure. I do, because action-adventure doesn't just mean shooting or action. Sometimes there's going to be times where you're exploring, like in Shadow of the Tomb Raider or even Red Dead. But I just I feel like that distinction isn't enough for its own category. You know what I mean? Like, if... Is there a best shooter? I don't think there is a best shooter category. Um, I felt that like, that makes more sense than having an action and action adventure because there's a lot of shooter games out there. But all right, well Knowledge maybe they do. The best role playing game are well Red Dead Redemption should definitely win that. So. Dragon Quest Eleven, Monster Hunter World. I might get Nino my, Kuni Two. I might get Dragon Quest Eleven. This Traveler and Pillars of Eternity Two. I'm yeah. wondering if Octopath Traveler is gonna get nominated for best or game of the year. In the category of best fighting game, okay. the nominee. I'm gonna assume the winner of this will be probably Soul Calibur. These are we'll see. Blaze Blue, Cross Tag okay. Battle, that... Dragon Ball Fighter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul oh, Calibur I forgot State. that was this year. Yeah, no, so it's good. Soul Calibur will put up a good fight, but no, yeah, it's gonna definitely be uh So it's definitely gonna be Dragon Ball. X and Street Fighter Five. Oh, and oh, so it's only four nominees. Nominees for best family game. Mario Tennis Aces, okay. Nintendo Labo, Overcooked 2, Starlink Battle for Atlas, yeah, okay. and Super Mario Party. Okay, a bunch of Nintendo, <laughs> bunch of Nintendo shit there, eh? All right, so you have Mario, Mario Tennis, Tennis Aces, Mario, Nintendo Labo, Nintendo Overcooked, Labo. 2. Overcooked 2, which is also on Xbox, to be fair. Starlink. That's also on Xbox, but let's be fair. The only version you really should play is on Switch. Battle for Atlas <laughs> and, Super and Super Mario Party. Okay. Super Mario Party. All right. In the category of best strategy game, the five nominees are BattleTech, Frostpunk, Into the Breach, I remember that. Into the, Breach the Banner win. Saga Three, and Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah, Into Four. the Breach is going that one. Again, we'll go over it after. Next up, best sports racing game. All right, Those give me the goods. Those nominees are FIFA 19. Forza Horizon 4, That's good one. Mario, Tennis Aces, NBA 2K19, and Pro Evolution. See, this just doesn't make sense to me, We're combining racing and sports. I guess there's just that, not that many racing games that come out every year, right? I guess what, Forza... Did they, they said something else. <laughs> I already forgot. I don't really play racing games, to be fair. They said something in the beginning. Forza Horizon Best Sports. Oh, no, they did. Mario, For Tennis Aces, 
NBA 2K19. Is Forza the only racing game here? Evolution sucked. I don't, I don't know, it's just so weird, because they have nothing to do with each other. Like, at least you could say soccer and, and um, well, there's two soccer games here, but even, like, basketball and soccer, at least you could say there's something similar about how they're played in a way. Um, this fucking racing, I don't know, even Mario Tennis, like, it's Mario, but it's still tennis, you know? I don't know, it, I feel like it's a competition between a bunch of different shit, um, or not even a bunch of different shit because there's only one racing game um i don't know mario tennis aces and there's only one racing game there so i don't know, I, don't know. I think forza should win it's For online I don't know. gameplay the best multiplayer nominees all right. are all right call of duty black ops 4 from That's good, yeah destiny 2 forsaken from bungie fortnite from epic <sighs> monster hunter world fortnite's probably gonna win right and sea of thieves from rare Esports has had an incredible no. year in 2018. Definitely not. New leagues, new... I think Fortnite's gonna win. I don't know. It's such a huge cultural phenomenon. I think. I think it will. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I think it will win. I'm trying to think. Like. Eh, I think Fortnite's gonna win that. Events and record-setting. Call of Duty maybe because the, the multiplayer has definitely gotten better. Here are your nominees in the category of best esports player presented by Omen All by right. HP? The nominees are. All right, this is the, always the one I I. Not always, but I think like twice in the past I got these right when I not, like guessed who's gonna win. And I don't know who any of these people are. I'm going to tell you right now. They they haven't even announced their names yet. I'm going to tell you. I don't know who they are. So, all right. Dominic McLean. Dominic Sonic Fox McLean. Okay. Hojima Tokido Taniguchi. Uh, Hojima, he's going to win because he sounds like Hojima. Alexander don't know any of these people. And Bank Jonik. Oh, it's going to be Jay Jonik. Jay Jonik Jameson over there. He's definitely going to win. All right. Let's see. I'm going to guess this one too. No, they're not going. No, stupid name. Cloud nine, I voted for Cloud Nine, nine before and they won. And Spitfire from the oh, Spitfire! They're gonna win. And OG, OG, Spitfire's gonna win. For best esports coach, the nominees are okay. Reaper from Cloud Nine. No. Zonic from Astralis. No, I'm gonna go by picture. Dylan Falco from no. Fanatic. Looks like a boy toy. Same thing. Looks like a boy toy. YNK from MIT. He looks like a pouty little boy. And Pasta oh, I like this guy. OG. For He's best gonna win. Esports event recognizing the biggest and best events of the year. The nominees are. The Overwatch All right, how many of these fucking things? Yeah, Legends Overwatch World League. That's new, so they're going to the make that Boston the one. Damn, there's a lot of esports and awards. And I don't like Evo this. Another new I'm going to guess another. Uh, uh, what? That's five esports categories. No one cares. What the fuck is her name? I don't care. <laughs> His fucking face, though. And Alex Goldenboy Mendez. <laughs> The nominees for best esports moment. Are you are fucking kidding me? Massive upset Six esports awards. KT versus IG's base race at the LOL Worlds. C9's comeback win in triple overtime versus FaZe Clan at E League. G2 beating RNG at the League. I get World. esports is big, but and this Sonic is the Fox's game awards. Not the esports awards. What the fuck is this? this summer in Vegas. What is he Content wearing? Creator of the year is a category All right. to recognize an individual who has contributed to the community throughout the year. The nominees this year are okay, this is Dr. Cool. Lupo, Myth. I wish they would say Ninja. what they did. Oh, fuck okay. off. Oh, no, this is YouTuber. Oh, okay. When it's a content creator, I thought it would be like modders or some shit or people that made fan games. I didn't know they meant just straight up YouTube ninja. I, well, I guess he's not a YouTuber. He's a Twitcher. Twitch, he's a Twitcher. He's a Twitch streamer. Um, that's the only one I know of there because I know he played with fucking Drake. Like, I give a fuck. But... recognizes young students around the world. And these games, the winners are going to be judged by a special panel that include Todd Howard, Hideo Kojima, and some other <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised guys. you didn't say Hideo Kojima Those first. Those nominees are Combat 2018 from Inland Norway University of Applied Sciences in Norway. Whoa. Dash Quasar from UC Santa Cruz. Okay, Cruz. first of all, you just saying the names and not putting the names up here is kind of stupid. I just want to say that. Jira from DigiPen. Jira? How do you spell that? Lift from I Start Digital Lift in or Lift? And recharge from oh, MIT. That's funny. The nominees for best ongoing game are Destiny Overwatch. Fort oh no! Fortnite's gonna Overwatch, win. And Rainbow Six. Uh, 
And finally, it is my honor to announce to you the going. six nominees for All right. the Game of the Year. Alright, here we go. Wait, where's Best Developer or whatever? Developer of the Year. Maybe they'll announce that after? That's weird. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm going to predict. I'm going to say... God of War, Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to... You know what? Alright, Celeste hype has dropped off. So I'm going to say... Maybe not. I think that might have just been for everything it was already nominated for. Like, that was, like, the perfect awards for that, but they're not going to put it for Game of the Year. Whew, they said six, so I have three. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to say Celeste, because I can't think of another one. <laughs> Celeste? I'm going to say, uh, no, not Call of Duty. It was only nominated for a couple things. Uh, oh, my God. What else? Detroit? No. I don't feel like Detroit fits at all, especially since it didn't really get the best reviews out there. Um... No Nintendo game this year, right? Yeah, uh, right there, right there. Yeah, no. Last year they dominated. They had two big ones. <laughs> the two, the two heavy hitters of last year were Nintendo exclusives. Um, I can't, I can't think of a, a two more. I'm gonna say uh, Assassin's Creed. No, no. I, I, I especially with the controversy about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, with the whole microtransactions. I don't think so. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say four, and I can't think of the other one, so let's just get to it. Celebrating the absolute best in creative and technical achievement from games released this year. Those nominees are Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, what? Montreal. What the fuck? Oh, Celeste! They really Celeste did make it! Matt makes games. God of War. <laughs> That's awesome! Celeste made it. Marvel's That's Spider amazing! That, one, that got a nomination! Monster Hunter oh, yeah, of course. And, and Red Dead Red Redemption, Redemption, the winner. The winner. The winner. And those That's are it. Your nominees. You have a chance to help select That's winners awesome. All categories I'm so happy Celeste made, made, made that. That's amazing. Oh, that makes me so happy. Now, Look at that. I'm a happy little boy now. Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, though? Uh, I know it's a good game, but I've heard nothing but shit about that game because of the microtransactions. So I thought because that was such a huge detriment to the experience to a lot of people that it wasn't going to get nominated. But I guess it didn't even get that great of reviews. It has like 83 on Metacritic. That's not that's not like ridiculously high. So Monster Hunter World does make sense. I forgot about that. I got like 90s and shit. Celeste. Oh, that's awesome. That doesn't seem like a kind of game that would get nominated, but to be fair, I think uh celebrate. No, did did Undertale get nominated? No, I don't think it did. Actually. I know there's been other ones. Maybe we should look at those. But all right, that's cool. I do want to go to the Game Awards site though and Yeah. Here's a chance to vote. All right. I want to see this more in in more more detail i guess all right category list all right so game of the year best ongoing game game to oh yeah okay. game direction i think is the developer of the year for this year i guess maybe i don't know word to a game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design all right well let's go through each one i think makes sense so let me scroll all the way up and you know what? let's just go through it quick and vote so let's just do game of the year immediately I love Celeste, and I kind of want to vote for it. I think I might. It doesn't matter. These votes don't really mean anything, I don't think, because I don't think it's fan voted or anything. But uh, you know what? Of course I'd vote for God of War. I mean, God of War. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I've played all these games, actually, I think, right? No, Assassin's Creed I never played. Um, I had it. I just never played it. I just didn't have time for it. Um, so I played everything else. I at least played it. God of War, I got like 15 hours into. I need to finish that. Spider-Man B, Monster Hunter, I played like a few hours. I, I just, I couldn't get into it. Right there with MG2, I'm still neck deep. Uh, so yeah, Celeste, like I said, I played a few hours of that. I'm actually, I think I'm like halfway through that game right now. So I should go back to it. Um, I don't know what I want to vote for. Yeah, I'm going to vote for Celeste. Yep, confirming it. Next category. Uh, what? No, not confirm vote. What the hell? I thought maybe it'd like show me all the nominees besides one. Best ongoing game: Destiny Two, Fortnite. No man, no. I'm gonna give it to Overwatch. All right, I don't like how they set this up. It opens to a different thing. I wish if you just hit I vote like the voted button, it would just uh, it would just vote and I could go on to the next thing. 
Uh, best game direction. I'm going to skip all the esports shit. I'm just going to tell you right here. I don't I don't know anything. Eh, maybe I'll just randomly guess. Uh, best game direction. That has to go to Red Dead. Like, I want Red Dead to win game of the year, but I just wanted to vote for Celeste because I know not many people are probably going to vote for, vote for it. So, Best narrative. Uh, Detroit didn't play. God of War was pretty good. Life is Strange haven't played. I got to give it to Red Dead. Just the way they, they present stories in that game is fucking amazing. You can just go by and see someone get... I don't know attacked by a, a cougar and you help them and they say thanks friend i was on my way to the market and this goddamn cougar attack <laughs> like even that that just felt that's like natural that didn't happen i'm just making shit up but uh <laughs> i'm on my way to the goddamn market but uh whatever best art direction Assassin's creed god of war octa no nah, it's octopath fuck it not even gonna not even go front <laughs> I mean, let's not front, my dudes. All right. Oh, this game does look really cool, though. Ooh. Oh, it has like an 8-bit look to it? Oh, I should have looked at this first. And uh, I'm, I'm going with what I got. Best score in music. Uh, Celeste, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, Nino Cooney, Octopath Trial. Yeah, there's six in there. Damn. I'm going to go with Celeste. Because I'm supporting that game. How you like that? Come on, Matt makes games. Make a make in our games. <laughs> makes in our games. Best audio design. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 does definitely have great audio design. And technically it really should have great audio design, especially since um especially since the um Oh my god. What the hell is it called? The uh, Battle Royale mode. What is it called? Blackout. Because the blackout mode is in is in there, so you really need to know all the different sounds. All of them. Gun blast, uh footsteps, uh door open you need you need to hear those you need to know you need to know where they are in the world you know that that gun blast was 20 meters away i could tell because the audio was so good <laughs> you know what i mean so anyway, call, call of duty black ops 4 forza horizon 4 god of war marvel spider-man yeah this is just becoming a broken record here i don't know which one should win i think red dead redemption 2 has some great audio design like really does you can just sit there and take a knee and just listen to the environment. Yeah, I gotta go to Red Dead. I'm sorry. They just put so much work in that game. And then not that everybody else didn't. Of course they fucking did. It's just... <laughs> I mean, come on. Best performance. Brian Detcher as Connor. Okay, I, I'm assuming his voice acting and performance itself is way better in the game than it is in the trailers. Because every time I saw the trailers... I, mean, I know he's a robot, but you're like, my name is Connor, and this is my story. <laughs> it's really, really corny. Uh, Christopher Judge, he's fantastic. Uh, Melisante Mahu. <laughs> Roger Clark is Arthur Morgan. You know who I'm voting for. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. The new, the new John Marston? Gotta vote for him. No one will ever replace John. Obviously. I mean, John's in the game too, so Red uh, Rockstar knew that too. Uh, a thought for a thought-provoking game with a profound pro-social meaning or message. Eleven uh, Eleven Memories Retold. This just came out recently. I know that. I just saw a Metacritic. It had like an eighty-one or something. Uh, Celeste, Florence. I I keep hearing about this game. I have yet to see what it looks like. Life. I've see, I've heard of it. Like I've seen it on Metacritic and stuff like that in the past. And I, I've heard about it from somewhere else. I think like a podcast I was listening to. Um, but I never saw the gameplay or anything. Well, it's an interactive story about love and life. Oh, shit. Okay. All my favorite, or all my most hated things, actually. Life is Strange 2, Episode 1, and The Missing. I kind of want to vote for The Missing for this one, because I know no one else will. I never played it, but I love Sweary. So, sorry. That, that, that vote doesn't really count, but I love Sweary. And I will be getting that game soon. Best independent game, Celeste, Dead Cells, Into the Breach, Return of the Urban, and The Messenger. <laughs> and the me Messenger. I, I love Dead Cells, and I really liked Into the Breach. I haven't played the other two, but I gotta give it to Celeste again. And, and that's from me not even beating the game yet. I, I really love Celeste. Like, I was really addicted to it when it first came out. I just I fell off of it for various reasons. I think I fell off of it because there was stuff in, in February and March that came out. And I just never went back to it. 
It, uh, this Game Awards is definitely making me want to go back to it, though. <sighs> I died a lot in that game. Best mobile game for the best game playable on a dedicated mobile device. I don't give a fuck if it's best played. I don't care. Fortnite should not be on here. I'm sorry. PUBG, same thing. Yeah, I like Donut County. It looks funny, so I'm going to give it to that. I should probably go for the Florence game, but I haven't seen what it looks like yet. So, I can't really vote for it. Because <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, best VR slash AR game, Astrobot, Beat Saber. Oh, Beat Saber looks so good. Firewall, I've heard that's great. I have it. Moss, I heard that's great. Tetris. Oh my god. I haven't. I can't vote for this one. I haven't played any of these yet. Beat Saber looks so much like my game, though. <laughs> it totally does. Uh, I can't vote. Sorry. Uh, bad, bad action game for the best game and the action genre focused on combat. Focused on combat. Okay, I know it's focused. On, I don't know, whatever. I don't care. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Four, Dead Cells, Let's see Two. You know what? This is gonna. This is gonna be my my Dead Cells. But this one. This one's going to Dead Cells. This one's going to my boy Dead Cells. May he rest in peace. He's not dead, but Dead Cells. So, whatever. I was doing a bit. Didn't work. Next. Next fucking category. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Um, are we halfway through? Or so? Are we, are we almost done? I guess we're kind of almost done because the esports shit's coming up. Best action adventure game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, Marvel Spider Man, Red Dead Redemption 2. Jesus, this going to be hard. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You know what? I think this is going to be the award they give, like, God of War because a lot of people are talking about how, like, Red Dead Redemption 2, when it comes to action adventure, or just the action portion, people are not let down, but they they there's not. It's not overflowing with that stuff, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it to either God of War or Spider Man. I think those are two. Shout out to Mary is just there as a filler out. <laughs> like, all right, we need five, and I put shout out to Mary. No one gives a fuck. That's the only thing it got nominated for too. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna give it to Red Dead Redemption too. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen because I think it's a way better game than any of these other games. God of War is probably the only one that's close. Again, I didn't finish it, but that should tell you how I feel about certain games if I haven't finished them. So, and God of War is not one of them. I'm just being a dick saying that because I, I just I stopped playing it for some fucking reason. I don't even remember why I stopped playing it, but I was really enjoying it. And again, I got very far in it, so I should go back to it. <laughs> I should go back. Best role playing game: Dragon Quest Eleven. I might try to get that for. Uh, for Black Friday, I'm gonna try Monster Hunter World, you know, Kuni 2, Octopath Traveler, and Pillars of Eternity 2. Just just got bought out by Xbox, so that's cool. Um, well, I only play, I guess I only play really one of these games, so I guess I gotta give it to Monster Hunter. I shouldn't vote if I've only played one, but uh, I guess I'll vote. Why not? Why not? Come on. Come on, Game Awards. Go back. Let's go. It doesn't even, it's not even let me click. It doesn't even have like a clicky icon. There we go. It's going, I think. Man, this site is slow as fuck. Now what? What's happening? Oh, great. Uh, what, 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 is, what is this? What, what, what's with the freaking the show works and shit? Get the fuck out of here! No, don't, don't do this. Now I got. I'll go all the way back down. Oh, oh, I got, I got there pretty quick. All right, back to it. Blaze Blue. This is for fighting game. Best uh, Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, Soul Calibur Four, and Street Fighter Five Arcade, which shouldn't fucking count because that game came out two years ago. So I'm just gonna negate that one. Never played Blaze Blue, so it's up to two right here. <laughs> Dragon Ball. I'm gonna give it to Soul Calibur. Just gonna tell you right here. I think Soul Calibur had a better matchmaking system. And I, I like the combat a little bit better graphically. Dragon Ball all the way, but Soul Calibur Six didn't fuck around. It didn't make me feel like shit because I got teamed up with a bunch of people or, or matched up with a bunch of people that are way higher level than me um it was fair and so caliber six is great yeah Geralt. so there you go best family game mario tennis aces nintendo labo overcooked 2 starlink battle for atlas and super mario party uh, i played three of these games nintendo labo mario tennis aces and starlink uh you know what when it comes to family i think nintendo labo is a great idea it really is 
for a family, I think that's the best game here because you build a thing just like a Lego or something like that, and then you can mess around with it and you have an experience. You know, like Mario Tennis, you know, you just play, whatever. I mean, you can have an experience with that, don't get me wrong, but you could rem come back years and years later to your memory of building a Nintendo Labo piano or some shit. I, I could see that being a thing. Um,. Just having a great... I, I'm going to give it to Nintendo Labo. I, I never thought I was going to say that, but I'm going to give it to it. Especially since I don't think Mario Tennis or Starlink are that great either. <laughs> so, I, they're, they're good. They're good games. I don't think they're great, though. Best strategy game, The Banner Saga 3, Battletech, Frostpunk, Into the Breach, Valkyria Chronicles 4. I only played one Into the Breach. I'm going to give it to that. I think that's the one that's going to win anyway because it got great reviews and people love it. So, I think it's going to be the winner. Best sports racing game. I didn't play any of the... Oh, I actually played Mario Tennis. I didn't play Forza. You know what? I'm not going to vote for this one. I, I, I wouldn't want to vote for Mario Tennis. So, I know Forza Horizon 4 is going to be the winner. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. I, it should be the winner. For me personally. it should. I, I think it should. But best multiplayer... I didn't even play it. But that's me saying that. Uh, best multiplayer game for outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design including co-op and massively multiplayer experiences irrespective of game genre all right so black ops 4 destiny 2 forsaken fortnite monster hunter world <laughs> it's sea of thieves um i don't care i really don't i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna say black ops 4 because i really do think they had great multiplayer this year when it comes to multiplayer, it's probably the best package ever for Call of Duty. Like when it comes to like the price and the content you're getting for multiplayer. Because you get in Blackout, which is could be its own fucking game, to be honest. <laughs> it totally could. It could have been its own game. They didn't. They put it in Black Ops 4. Multiplayer, the zombies, even that stupid story mode thing. Like, that's just another thing you could play if you want. Best student game, Combat 2018. That alright, so we can actually get to see some of the game here, okay? Oh, this is a VR game. That looks kind of cool. Ooh, I like this art style. Jira. Recharge. Lift. Oh, it is Lift. Okay. I couldn't tell if he was saying Lift or Lift. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Some of these look really good. Okay. That looks... Okay. I'm going to go by what I think looks cooler. Actually, I think this one looks really nice. I'm going to go for this. Lift. Let's go, Lift. Let's go, France. Oh, that's what they do, right? Is that insensitive? I hope so. Anyway, let's go down. Best debut indie game. Uh, oh, yeah, Celeste wasn't a debut, eh? Messenger. Yuka's, Yuka's bullshit. I didn't play any of these, so. Yeah, I'm not going to vote. Well, I feel like I should vote. It's debut indie game. Got to support them, right? <laughs> support them so much I didn't play any of these games. But uh, <sighs> which one interests me more? Uh, that Moss game probably interested me more because I heard it's a great VR game. And that, uh, that right there. There you go. I'll vote. I'll vote. It's like going to an election, you know, like a whatever, and voting for certain things. You don't know who these people are. Just vote for them. Uh, best esports game. All right, let's go to Overwatch and get over with. <laughs> it's not going to win. It's going to be Fortnite. That should not be. I, I don't think Fortnite. Fortnite's like a fuck around game. I don't think that should be an esport game. I'm sorry. I, I know there's gonna be Fortnite lovers in this fucking video hating me, but that's fine if you like the game. I don't give a shit, obviously. But play it. I don't give a fuck. But um, I just don't think. All right, I'm not gonna vote for these. I already said who I think is gonna win. I don't remember who they are, but I don't care. I'm not going back to this freaking list anyway. So, all right, so we're pretty much done. This is it, right? Oh, I'll, I'll give it to the Overwatch. I'll give it to the Overwatch one right here. There you go. Grand Finals Champions. I don't know. I guess that's eSports event. Yeah, I'll give it to that. There you go. Anything Overwatch, I'll vote for because Overwatch is amazing. So, but speaking of Overwatch, Ash just came out today, which I'm surprised it's that early. I thought I thought we wouldn't get her until the end of the year. I mean, end of the year. Well, kind of. I thought we wouldn't get her until like sometime in December. So, I guess that is technically true. Uh, I didn't think we could get her until the end of the year. I'm not fucking voting for any of these people. Get the hell out of here. All right. Willie Rex. Oh, he has a Wolf of Wall Street. All right, I'll vote for him. <laughs> I'll vote for him. Uh, I, I hope I'm not, like, screwing up. He's, like, some asshole or some shit. 
whatever. I'm over him. He had a Wolf of Wall Street book. See, that's that's a great idea. That's why you should have stuff in the background. Because of dickheads like me who sees like a pirate skull thing and, and a Wolf of Wall Street poster and go, I don't know who this guy is. He His background's kind of sloppy and stuff. But you know what? He got a Wolf of Wall Street poster. It might be sloppily just laid there. Uh, but uh, it's there. So I give him credit. Some woman, some fucking dude with blue hair, some guy that can give you a shit stare. Oh, that's Ninja, the blue hair guy. Uh, and then this fucking guy. Why is every person, like every, all right, this is going to sound extremely racist. I don't give a fuck. But uh, for every white male ca- guy, why do they all look so similar? Like this guy and this guy, I don't know why. Maybe I just, they look so similar. Ninja and Dr. Lupo. I don't know. Why is it, he looks so familiar too. He looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> well, kinda. I'm kinda kidding. <laughs> Not exactly, but uh, I'm a white boy too. But I, I would say I definitely don't look like ninja. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> First of all, hair is regular, normal human color. I didn't make myself look like a fucking stupid anime character. But uh, I'm sure Ninja's a good guy. I don't even know why I'm I'm trashing him. It doesn't matter. He's not gonna watch this. Who the fuck? He'll just see, if he does, he'll be like, look at this fat kid with the double chin. <laughs> Neck beard little loser. I'm huh? making millions playing a fucking stupid game. I'm I'm playing with Drake. Which I wouldn't really give a fuck. I don't really like Drake, so <laughs> good for you. Um but anyway, there you go. Um that's it. So that is the Game Awards 2018. I spent a good long while talking about that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And until next time, of course, goodbye. Celeste for the win and Red Dead Redemption 2 for the win.